Yo what up guys, so in today's video what I'll be doing is explaining how to hack into Sorry, I need to change one thing, I forgot um, Hack into a Windows 7 By using Metasploit or Metasploit Framework um, If you've ever done uh, Fuku hacking or Kali Linux or you've, you know, you've been around this sort of area for a long time You will definitely know what's Metasploit For use that who don't uh, don't know what Metasploit is is basically a we can call it a program. It's a hacking tool program that contains so much exploits that I never even knew that exist. Right, I'll explain in a minute. I'll show you the amount of exploits and payloads that this program has. Um, so if you have Kali Linux or Linux, you will Kali because Linux doesn't actually Linux is not a hacking tool. Kali Linux is an operating system. Um, Kali Linux. If you already installed it before, you already will have Metasploit in your computer or on your operating system, whatever. Um, if you have Linux or Windows, you will be able to get it. It will just basically, you will have to install it. Um, I'm pretty sure if you go on Google and just type um, Metasploit Framework, you can just get clone it into a directory and you'll be able to use it. So um, I will show you how to launch it. So there's two ways you can launch it. Either you can press Windows key and press um, or your left corner key, you can type Metasploit Framework or you can be a hacker and launch Terminal and write MSF Console and that will launch the Terminal. And in a second I'm going to show you how powerful this tool is. So as so you can see we've uh, logged in and this is basically the sort of starting point of Metasploit Console. So basically we have uh, 2,315 exploits. So basically, as you can see, there's 2,300 2, exploits. And that's a lot. That's a lot. And obviously this is growing every time we have a patch and stuff like that. This is all growing all the time. So I'll show you all exploits. So if you just um, use, not show exploits, sorry. Show exploits. And as you can see, it loads a big, big, big file. I think I've showed you this before. I'm not actually sure. So, um, as you can see, there's basically AX, Android, Apple, and this shows you like Apple, iOS, Mobile, Safari, um, Linux, 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 Linux. Um, let me just go down. There should be multi, I think that's for a multi operating system. As you can see, there's Cisco, Adobe, um, GitLab, Metasploit. There's a lot of exploits that these things can be used for. There's PHP, PHP my admin, as you can see, PHP my admin for remote code execution, which I mean, I'm pretty sure just allows you remote access and remote code execution into PHP my admin, which if you don't know what PHP my, PHP my admin is, is basically a, an administrator website for managing databases, which obviously if you get access to our database, you have access to the whole database unless it's encrypted. However, still, um, encryption can be undone. I've showed you before how to unhash a password. I have showed you how to crack into a PDF file. Everything can be done. There's not a thing as such a thing as unhackable, right? In this world, Apache, WordPress. Um, WordPress is one of the basically most popular websites, en website engines, if you want to call it. Oracle, there's a lot of stuff, I'm not going to go through all that, but there's also like crypto as well, right? I'll show you if you go to down the bottom, um, search crypto, as you can see there's about 13 exploits for cryptocurrency, or maybe, no, not 13, I don't think it's 13, yeah, but whatever, there's, there's crypto as well, right? Cryptocurrency, yes, actually there's one for Bitcoin, it's a Windows one, Windows gap for Bitcoin wallet, which will definitely hack it if it's not um, secure enough. So, we're talking about Windows 7 today, so I'll be showing you how today how to crack into a Windows 7. So basically the first thing you need is, you know, a Windows 7 machine which I already have installed and um, all done. I will in the comment section, I'll uh, link, leave a comment to an ISO or a link for you to download yourself so you can try this as well. Now remember, when you're ever hacking something, the firewall needs to be turned off. Therefore, we need to turn the firewall off and we able, we're able to hack. So what we need to do is search ms 
17 underscore 10 eternal blue, right? Or we can just try and I'll find us. MS17, I should find, there we go. MS17, we go, as you can see, there's exploit Windows SMB, MS17, 010, eternal blue. Now this exploit is average, which means it, it's an average exploit, which means it can work, it might not work. Um, the the better the better the ranking the better which means there's a higher probability of it working. So we're gonna today we're gonna use exploit because this so this is the one that works. I've not tested any other ones, but I've tested this about two seconds ago and it works. So I'll show you this exploit for today. Now we don't we don't need to use any payloads because I was actually going wrong because I was for a couple of days or well, a couple of hours maybe. Um, I was going wrong because what I do try to do, always try to do myself because I learn and I was trying to do is basically use an exploit. So use exploit zero. Or use zero. Fuck's sake. Let's go back. So we need search MS17 and use zero. Right, as you can see now, because I was taught to use a payload for Windows XP and that's where I was going wrong because the payload is not needed for this exploit, that's where I was going wrong. Right. So that's why I had problems. So by the way, um, before we start, we need to do one thing, which is know the IP addresses. So IP address of my Kali machine is 192.168.11.139. And for Windows, it'll be just IP config all, and I'll show you. Um, I'll actually show you, try and show you. Let me just get it up so it doesn't. By the way, Windows 7 is a very, very slow machine, as you may think, because it's a very, very old operating system. Um, here we go, just try to it up. Just change the screens to Windows 7. There we go. So, as you can see, can I make this bigger? Of course not. Okay. So, Windows 7, as you can see, this is IPv4 address. So, IP config all. And just it will be a bit slower. So, as you can see, IPv4 preferred. You have to, you might have to set the IP address manually for it to work. I think I showed you how to connect two virtual machines together before. I should be around somewhere on the screen. I now have to do this. So just get the IP addresses and that should, let me go back to my Kali machine. There we go. Okay. Okay. So what we need to do now is um, delete, change this and go back to MSF console. So this is basically so, sort of us done. We need to now show options. Um, use set. Now we need to do the set IP addresses in the host. So we need to set L host, which is l l local host, which is our attacker machine, which is Kali. So L host 192.168.11.139 and R host. So set R host 192.168.11.20. And we just need to run exploit and that should work. And it might take a bit longer. It should take no longer than 30 seconds to exploit. Let's just wait till it goes. And as you can see, it says win, which means we rented the actual machine. Uh, now, I am can show you, I would love to show you, but however, because there's so much. Yeah, so if I go to see Windows now, it should be users. There we go. Users, ls, cd, griffin. <clears throat> now we rent to... We should be into good desktop, and as you can see on desktop, I have a desktop any which is just nothing. I have actually nothing on the desktop, just a recycle bin. That's in. Okay, so that's how you hack into. As I said, it takes about thirty seconds to hack into Kali. Eh, sorry, into Windows Seven. Hope you've enjoyed the video. If you can leave a like, comment, subscribe, and comment what you'd like to see next in my future videos, and have a nice day.